What's up today, my wonderful family? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Devotions with Demarcus. Let's get right into the word today. Today we are in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 17, and it reads, Whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life. But whoever ignores correction leads others astray. I'm going to say the last part again. Whoever ignores correction leads others astray. What exactly does this mean? See, there are people that look to you and your lifestyle, right? And study it and literally follow what you do. You may not see it, but trust me when I tell you people are watching. Okay? People may not read the actual physical Bible right but you're the bible that they read they see your walking example they 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 are watching your lifestyle and see god wants to use you as a willing example right as a willing vessel to draw others to him now the question then becomes what does your lifestyle show all right see let's look at the last part again whoever ignores correction leads others astray so if you're not following god if you're not doing exactly what god has instructed you to do Guess what? You're leading others astray because I'm here today to tell you somebody's doing exactly what you do. You're impacting somebody. Even the color backpack that you may wear around school. Somebody looked at that and say, man, I like that backpack. You may be in middle school. You may be in high school. Right. And one of your classmates may have saw that book sack and say, you know what? I'm going to get me one of them. And what happened? Two weeks later, they show up with the same kind of backpack. But see, you thought all alone. Nobody noticed you. Everybody watching you, man, whether it be your workplace, your gym, wherever it is that you go, right? You have influence whether you realize it or not. Now, people may not tell you, but they're watching you and your lifestyle. And see, the way the way God has it all set up, man, I'm trying to tell you it's so beautiful, right? He wants to use you, right, as that walking example. See, you are the light, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you are the light. You are that lamp. And see, the beautiful thing about a lamp, right, is see, you, you hold the lamp up to light up the room. You don't hide it under the table. You don't be ashamed of the word of God. You don't be ashamed of your testimony. You're not hiding the lamp behind your back. No, you're holding that thing up. <laughs> okay? So whoever ignores correction, whoever whoever is dimming their light, whoever is saying, ah, I see what the word of God is saying about, you know, forgive them. But you know what? I'm going to ignore that correction. You leading them astray because the people looking up to you, whether you realize it or not. Whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life. You know what I'm saying? Like take heed, like peep game. You know, that's what people say in the world. Peep game when they're about to tell you something deep. If somebody about to tell you a deep story and they say, hey, peep game. That means you need to open both ears, not one ear. You know what I'm saying? Open both ears. They're about to tell you something deep. Man, I'm trying to tell you today that you need to take heed. No, you need to peep game <laughs> what God's saying in his word. Because, see, it's always something deep. Whoever heeds discipline, like God wants to make you more disciplined. God wants to break off those things of the world that you learn. See, you got to unlearn all those things. And then you got to relearn the stuff that we should know which is the word of God and the way that he wants us to live. And the fact that your identity is with divinity, that you are chosen, that you're a willing vessel, God wants you to learn all that stuff. But the stuff you out here in the world, man, look, we can't, we can't do nothing with that. You know what I'm saying? We can't do nothing with that. Yeah, we can't do nothing with that, man. That's all I got on here. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Hey, man, shout out to Bernice Atwater. Just dropped a comment on the channel. It just popped up. Man, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you. Hey, that's all I got on the video, though. Hey, love you all so much. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for giving us another wonderful word today. It's, your word says right here. Proverbs 10, chapter 17. Whoever heeds discipline. Lord, we choose to heed discipline. Shows It shows the way to life. Whoever ignores correction leads others astray. Lord, we don't want to lead anyone astray, Lord. We thank you for creating us. We choose to lead by example. We don't want to lead anyone astray. We want everyone to follow a good example because we choose to hitch up to you. 
We understand that we are the court that's behind the horse, Lord. We're not in front of the horse. We're not in front of you. We're behind. You're pulling us. We're submitted to you. And we thank you, Lord, that anybody who choose to follow the path of us as we follow you, we choose to lead them the right way. And we know it starts with trusting in you and submitting our life to you. And, Lord, we do that today. We fully trust in you, Jesus, and we love you. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for tuning in to another video. If you made it to the end of this video, place a check mark down below. Check in. That's right. That lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell on the side of the video. That way you'll be notified every single time a new video is up. New videos every single day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you so much, and I will see you on the very next video.